Okay, so this is my first black and white online battle. And it was really close. I think I did pretty good. My Pokemon are all last gen or past that or whatever. They're all old. Because I like to stick with the originals. I might switch a couple later on, but for now, that's the way they are. Okay. Uh, sorry for the crap quality. It's <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, my Skarmory is just a just a Pokemon to set up with. So all I'm gonna do is Spikes and Stealth Rock. I barely actually I barely set up all of them because he will wisp me and almost kills me before I can finish. But Skarmory did what he was supposed to do, so it's, it's all good. So, all he pretty much does is just spam Hex and stuff, and then I finish setting up, I die, and then I switch into my Porygon. My Porygon... Mm, he did all right, except I was expecting this this coffin thing to die easier, but pretty freaking defensive. Anyways. Okay, so I just finished setting up completely. I wanted to roost, but I thought it'd be... Yeah, I was gonna die anyways, so... There's no, no way to do it. Okay, so here's my Porygon. All I do is spam Ice Beam because I figure that's enough, but no, that isn't enough because he doesn't die easily. Then he burns me again, which begins to get annoying, so then I have an Arcanine with Flash Fire, so I'm thinking I could trick him with that, but he ends up not falling for it, so it doesn't work. Okay, so here I decided to use Thunderbolt instead. Or actually, I, I don't remember what I did. I think I switched, actually. Because I got tired of him not dying, so. I switched. I tried to trick him, but it didn't work. Because he ended up just using Hex. Er. No, he used something else. Oh yeah, he used Destiny Bond. Cause he, oh yeah, because he thought he was going to kill me. I was going to kill him. Whatever. So he uses Destiny Bond. Um, my Breloom gets his gets his Poison Heal to set up. So that means I can't be burned now. But I just switch him out for Arcanine. Because I'm expecting him to use Will-O-Wisp. But he doesn't. So I don't get the boost. But I still end up killing him. I'm just going to Flash Fire and then kill him. Or, yeah, Flare Blitz, sorry. I always get those two confused, I don't know why. Okay, so I was gonna originally keep him out, but then I got the mummy status, or the mummy ability, and I didn't like it, so I figured I should just switch him out. For something else. So I switched him to to my um, Breloom and all he did was uh, I'm not sure what he did. I think he like rain dance or dragon dance or something. Oh no. 
Yeah, he sludge bombed, and that did nothing. So, I just let him die, because Porygon was pretty much useless at this point with that much health, and I could have recovered, but I think he went first. Yeah, he went first. So, he just died. He was basically just a safe switch in for my next guy, which is going to be Breloom. All I'm going to do is seed bomb, and then he's dead. Okay, so this thing I was a little afraid of because I know they're really fast and pretty strong and then when he used bounce I knew I had to switch because there's no way I could take a four times effective move and survive. So I switched to my Caesar. He takes the move with grace or power, I don't know what you call it, but he takes it, barely does anything. I just bullet punch and then I, it says critical but I'm pretty sure I would have killed it without a critical so. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, he kills me. I was not expecting that. Because I don't. I haven't. This is actually the first battle, so. I haven't. I didn't know anything about that Pokemon. But I could easily tell he was a dragon type, so. I was expecting a flamethrower, which I was right, so I switched to my Arcanine to get the flash fire boost. Got it. But then, this guy apparently, he has Surf too, so that kind of screwed me up. He kills my Arcanine. I barely did anything with him. So, then my last choice... Well, not my last Pokemon, but my last choice for this guy, without getting owned, would be my Togekiss. Now, most people would know that Togekiss has their, their air slash um, move, which with Serene Grace gives it a 60% flinch rate. So I took a big risk. I managed to survive and I flinched him enough to kill him. I was really lucky actually. I'm surprised. I'm, I barely won this battle. Especially since those Hydrogans or Hydragons, whatever you want to call them, are so overpowered. Anyways, this one doesn't flinch him, but I can easily take a Dragon Pulse, so. Then, I, I Air Slash him once again. He doesn't die, but he gets flinched, so then I just Air Slash him again. And then I end up killing him. Okay, so this Vanillux, I thought it was going to be a problem since he's an Ice type and my last two Pokemon are both weak to Ice, but I just flinched him so it, it didn't matter. I was lucky there. Flinched him, he he couldn't do anything, I attacked him again, he's dead. Then his last guy was, um, I'm not sure what he was called, but it was an electric water type eel thing. So. That thing killed my Togekiss in one hit because Air Slash did nothing. Didn't flinch it either. But then I had Breloom left, so. Yeah. You'll see in a sec.
So, Togekiss is dead, but Electros is pretty low on health now, so. All I do is switch into Breloom. I spore him first, just to be safe, because I wasn't sure who was faster at this point, because electric types usually tend to be fast, so. I just spored him to be safe, and then I seed bombed him, and yeah, I won the battle. It was honestly a really close battle. I think he could have won if I hadn't flinched him, but still, it was a good battle, and I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. This is... I'm gonna have more videos later on, so... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, like if you want. Don't like, I don't care.